I was just cleaning here before the kids come. Chef Jeff baked some cupcakes and muffins for the kids today. They're going to be so glad when they hear that Chef Jeff is going to bake their cupcakes for them. Because when word gets around all the smell that he's baking, it spreads like wildfire. And before you know it, the Jungle Cafe is packed. And the cupcakes are selling, well, like hotcakes. Mount Gloria, we've spoken to lots of people who want to buy the cupcakes. Mm. Yes, they'd like to help to raise money for the wool for the blankets. We're going to make so many blankets. That's really good. Oh, and by the way, I spoke to Chef Jeff. He says he's happy to make your cupcakes for you just as soon as you've bought your ingredients. You know, he's got special baking trays for cupcakes that fit 12 cupcakes in them. He's got four of these trays and he can fit all four of them into his oven at the same time. Now, how many cupcakes are you going to make? Mmm, 30. <laughs> what, what, eh? They are going to sell 30 cupcakes. They won't get very much from selling so few. I thought they wanted to make as much money as they could so they can buy lots of wool for blankets. What, what? That is too little. Mm -mm. Yeah. What are you talking about, Dolly? 30 isn't enough. Yes, it is. I think we'll struggle if we have to sell any more than that. What? 30 cupcakes? No, 30 packs of cupcakes. Oh, um, I see. Um, now that's better. I don't know, Dolly. I've been around the school and the teachers. I think we, should, we could sell more than that. Hmm, I thought about 50. 50 is too much. We don't want leftovers. That's a waste. Wait, wait, I'll tell you what. How about a compromise? Do you think you'll be able to sell 40 packs? I'm not sure. I think I think that's a really good number. Mm. I'm sure we'll be able to sell all of them, no problem. Oh, uh, okay, 40 packs then. So, so how many cupcakes did you say you wanted in a pack? Six. Okay, so now we have to work out how many individual cakes you have to bake. That's easy. 40 times six. Which is? Mm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. So six times zero is zero, and six times four is twenty-four. Mm. That's two hundred and forty. Two hundred and forty Good. And if you work it backwards two, to check it, two hundred and forty divided by six is forty. That's a lot of baking. Do you think you'll learn? I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, how long do you think it's going to take? Can I work this out? Can I work it out on this board? Yes, of course you can. Go ahead. Yeah. So we need to make 240 cakes. How many did you say each tray can make? 12. Okay. So that's 240 divided by 12. So that's 20. So Chef Jeff will have to bake 20 trays. Wow, that's going to take a long time. But remember, Chef Jeff said he could put four trays in the oven at one time. Oh, I'd forgotten. So that's He has to bake five times. 20 divided by four is five. One, two, three, four, five. Five lines of four. Yes, that's right. So, Mo Gloria, how long does it take each tray to bake? I think it takes about 20 minutes. So, do that sum on the board to learn plan plan. If it takes 20 minutes for each tray to bake, and we want to bake five times, then... So, you mean 20 times five? It'll take 100 minutes. 
Right. And now, does anybody know how long 100 minutes is in hours and minutes? Well, there's 60 minutes in one hour. Mm -hmm. So 100 minus 60 equals 40. One hour and 40 minutes left over. Wow, so it's going to take one hour and 40 minutes. With a little bit of time in between, of course. What do we need time in between for? Well, how many trays did Chef Jeff said he had? Four. Oh, I see. He's going to have to clean the trays in between each time they're in the oven. Oh, dear, Margaret. That's a lot of work. You'd think Chef Jeff would mind. Oh, don't worry about that. Jeff is as keen to help people struggling in the cold this winter as you are. He's happy to make the cupcakes for you so you can buy the wool to make the blankets. Mm. Marvin, mm? what's that smell? Oh, yo, yo. I told you this morning, remember? It's cookies. I'm baking cookies. Doesn't it smell like smoke to you? Hmm? Uh huh. So? Marvin? Yes, Marvin. How many cookies are you making? Because when I left you three quarters of an hour ago, mm -hmm. you had put them in the oven. Hmm? So they should have been out the oven by now. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Now, who's the smart one, eh, Mevin? Get this. I tripled the recipe, so we have to triple the time we cook them for. Triple the recipe? Yes. You see, the recipe only makes 12 cookies, and that wouldn't be enough for us, eh? So I times the recipe by three, so we'll get 36 cookies. Hey. <laughs> Tripling, I understand. Mm -hmm. But take me back to the bit about tripling the cooking time as well. Okay. Okay, to cook one batch would take 20 minutes. So to cook three batches, you need to times 20 minutes by three, which is 60 minutes. So that's why they are in there for an hour. Marvin, mm -hmm. Marvin, please don't tell me you put all three trays in the oven at the same time. Of course I did. They all fitted in together. Marvin, you silly meerkat. The cookies are totally burnt out now. You only need to cook them for 20 minutes. It doesn't matter how many there are in the oven at the same time. You can't make anything without me, can you? Well, I wouldn't say that, Mevin. You're always saying I manage to make a huge mess when you're not around. Oh. Ah. Sure. I just thought of something. What? Well, we need to work out how many of each flavored cake we need to bake in each tray. Why? Well, remember, we need more chocolate cupcakes in strawberry and vanilla. So? Don't we need to make the chocolate ones separate from the others? <laughs> no, silly. The different flavors come with the icing we put on top. The cupcakes are exactly the same. Oh, honestly, I didn't realize that. Sure isn't much time you spend in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an easy mistake to make. Oh, look, it's time for you to go. But don't worry, we'll finish our planning the next time I see you, okay? Okay, bye, bye Mark Gloria. Bye bye, all of you. See you next time. Bye bye. I'm gonna be late. How many cakes do you want to make? Decide on the number, then bake, bake, bake. If you want. Happy hippos love many, then make more than 20, make 20 times 20. The multiplying is easy, although sometimes ambition. And to check if you're right, just use division. But whatever you do, be sure to hide them, because when we are around, between us, we'll divide them. So Dali didn't mean that they must try to sell 30 cupcakes for the blanket wool. They meant 30 pets. I'm glad. I hope they sell all the pets they're making. Blankets for people who are cold is a good idea. What, what? Yes. Well, we really did do a lot of multiplication and division today. Did you realize how much math your mother actually uses in the kitchen when she's cooking and baking? Well, see you all next time when we have a look at our ingredients for our cupcakes. Bye! How many cakes do you want to make? Decide on the number, then bake, bake, bake. If you want many, happy hippos love many, then make